Okay, what's going down, folks? It looks like I'm on the undercard of UFC 176, taking on a guy named Taguchi. And the main event is a fight that a lot of people that a lot of people want to see, but will probably never see. And that's Cain Velasquez versus Daniel Cormier. So let's not worry about them. Let's get it in. To make it to the UFC is what every martial artist dreams of, you know, to lace up those gloves for the first time, to be able to step foot on that mat and uh, put on a show for the great fans of the UFC. Look at that uppercut. Now, Mark is a top looking to finish in here. This is why everyone's been talking about putting us all over. It is a special moment and it's a moment I worked hard to make become a reality. And the UFC has given me a purpose in life, you know. It's made my dream come true. I'm young, I get to travel around the world and compete in front of millions of combat fans, combat fans like myself. That's what it's like, I'm living the dream and I can't wake up. I don't want to wake up. <laughs> Coming up next, it's a middleweight showcase between Iron and Assassin. Well, I get no walkout, and you can see there's barely people in the stands, but I'm the first fight on the car. What do you expect? As you can see, I'm sponsored by the uh, UFC, so I got new trunks, so I'm getting it in, folks. I'm getting it in. This is my official UFC debut. He stands 6 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting New York, New York, USA, Assassin. And now. Introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 10 wins, 2 losses. Standing 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of Kanagawa, Japan, Iron! And the action begins. Damn, this dude is barely in the middleweight uh, division. Did you see that? 171? Middleweight fight. Gotta get some sportsmanship, come out, come out strong. Great trunks for Assassin. Black trunks for Iron. Great counter left by Assassin. Nice, nice combination. Good connection with the straight by Assassin. He scores with the leg kick. Ooh, nice head kick there, nice head kick. Got a circle. This guy's... The kick lands. Ooh. Damn, tried to bleak kick me. Assassin with the left. Oh! Somebody's gonna go down. Nice oblique kick there. Kick to the leg. Ooh, he's down. Damn, he kicked me off of him. I tried to go for it too early. Execution getting back. Nice jab into the hook. Good punch by Iron. There it is, swing and a miss. And he eats a high one. Nice. Man, he just missed punishing the body with that. He to the liver, he's stunned back. Ooh, shit, that's not good. Okay. Uh. He was hurt very badly, but it seems like he's recovered. His opponent was stunned, but now he's recovered. He failed to capitalize on the fact that he had him hurt. Nice jab. He's got a stiff jab, Mike. He really throws his shoulder into it. He connects with the jab. Trying to get a single. Outstanding jab. Stuff that takedown. He's looking to go to the body with that kick. Damn. He's got no stamina, but I got a pressure. Assassin with strong right hook. Good job blocking the punch. Nice work on the counter. He gets him in the clinch here. Oh, he hit him with a big knee. Judo takedown. Iron with the good right hand. In half guard. He's landing some Gotta get these elbows. Ooh. Yeah. Come on. Elbow. Iron gets hit by another elbow. He's really landing some very solid elbows. This dude cannot hang. I'm about to knock him out, baby. Ooh, he's gone. He's gone. Just 
Mm, mm, through them bows, baby. He couldn't hang. He couldn't hang at all. TKO. Tremendous TKO. Great stoppage by the referee. Let's take one more look at the end of the fight here. This is a vicious series of strikes, ground and pound, that lead up to the TKO. We can see it here on a different angle. There are some big shots getting through here. Vicious ground and pound combination that leads to the TKO. With the official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, Referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 25 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO Assassin. Assassin, victorious by TKO. That was my first official UFC victory. You couldn't hang with me. I was doing my thing. I put in work, folks. I put in work. Got the first victory behind me, and I'm so happy. So happy about that. And it's nothing but bigger and better things for me. I'm moving on up, y'all. I'm moving on up. Wow. Daniel Cormier is the new heavyweight champion in the first round, defeating his teammate, Cain Velasquez. That's funny. Nothing is like an MMA victory. It's like winning the lottery seven times in one day. You just can't stop winning the lottery. It's a feeling for me personally, it was a feeling of just validation, saying that, hey, this crazy lifestyle, getting punched in the face from your friend, getting kicked, getting choked, all the grueling hours of practice, of sweat dripping off your face, all, all that sacrifice, this is the reason why. I, I can't really describe the feeling, but I'm on a different level for a few days after. It's the biggest burst of emotion that anyone can ever feel. A lot of guys just scream or they get up on the cage and they just let it all out and, you know, and take in that energy of the, of the crowd that's chanting you on, you know. This is nuts. He just ran out of the cage and ran right into the crowd. You can't explain it. It's just awesome. Congratulations, man. You won your first fight in the UFC. No UFC jitters either, man. They usually get you every time. Congratulations. I think you have a very bright future. What up, homie? It's John Moraga here. Congratulations on your first win in the UFC. Great fight. Can't wait to see you next one. I'll be rooting for you. Al rato, homes. <laughs>